Istanbul is Europe's third busiest airport and is known for its tight security. Now patrols are increasing at airports across our country. WJZ has live complete coverage. It continues now with Megan McCorkle at BWI Thurgood Marshall with more on what is happening there. Megan. Well, Jessica, officials here at BWI say they consistently operate under a high level of security, but experts say even security can't stop everything. Focusing on soft targets, a suicide bomber detonates explosives in the parking area of the Istanbul airport, allowing two other attackers to get inside. It's similar to the March attack on the Brussels airport, where bombers set off explosives in an unsecured departures hall. The terrorists continue to find the vulnerabilities in the security systems that we have. Certainly, they didn't penetrate the security, but they found, obviously, a point of vulnerability that we know exists. But experts say public areas may be impossible to fully protect. It can be perhaps just seconds after somebody gets out of a car or a taxi, in this case, walks into the, the public side of the terminal and starts the attack. The attacks come as a record number of Americans are expected to travel over the holiday weekend, tens of thousands of them here at BWI. The Transportation Authority has increased patrols in public areas of the airport. Here at BWI, I mean, I, I find that they do a really great job, you know, I mean, it's always tightened. Armed officers have also been spotted patrolling both Dulles and Reagan National Airports, which offer flights to Istanbul. I think that people need to be more aware of their surroundings, um, pay a little bit more attention to what's going on. U.S. passengers returning from Turkey now face heavy screening. They must have had about eight or ten uh, security officers, bomb sniffing dog. Uh, they were checking everybody. Extra precautions in the wake of the tragedy. And Homeland Security officials say they do have officers patrolling areas like the check-in area looking for suspicious behavior. We're live at BWI tonight. I'm Megan McCorkle, WJZ Eyewitness News. Megan, thank you. Now, here's what you need to know about the terror attack in Turkey. 42 people are now confirmed dead, more than 270 others injured. 37 victims have been identified, including 10 foreign nationals. The airport is open tonight, but being heavily monitored by security forces. The attack is being being pinned on the Islamic State group but is not confirmed.